Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of our Let's Meet series about Until Dawn characters. Today we discover the story facts and secrets of Mike and Sam, two of the most beloved characters from the game. Let's see what we found about them. Michael Monroe, known to his friends as Mike, is one of the eight main protagonists and a playable character in Until Dawn. He was voiced and motion captured by actor Brad Dalton. Brad Dalton joined the cast of Until Dawn while it was being developed from the PlayStation 3 and is the only actor who is confirmed to have appeared in both the PS3 and PS4 incarnations of the game. Good-looking, smooth as silk and silver-tongued, Mike is a true lady killer. He's had more girlfriends than she's had hot dinners, which can cause a few problems when a few of them are in his immediate circle of friends. He is very narcissistic and there's no denying that he likes the attention that comes with being the man who stands up and can get things done. Jessica and Mike are known to be in a relationship. The two have a playful snowball fight at the ski lift before Jessica's kidnapping. Then, Mike risks his own life trying to save her and becomes extremely angry and upset when attempting to hunt her killer. If Jessica dies, Mike blames himself in the post-game interview. Jessica also shows concern for Mike in her interview, asking if he made it out and if he's safe no matter what happens. The two clearly cares a lot about each other. Mike is described in-game as intelligent, driven and persuasive. He is known among the survivors for being promiscuous and seems to love women despite his hate for commitment and is very popular with them. Despite this, Mike is also a man of action and is usually the first to volunteer and make suggestions. According to a hallucination of Dr. Hill, Mike has a fear of isolation despite being on his own more than any character in the game. However, this could be a misrepresentation of Mike from the patient's perspective. It should be noted that Mike may have a fear of misfortune towards his friends or them turning against him or even each other. This can be supported by the fact he fears the idea of Emily becoming a Wendigo, considers Chris unreliable after he knocks out Josh, expressing disbelief at the idea of Anna cannibalizing Beth, and is also shown to exhibit a slight complex declaring that he will keep his friends safe and will risk himself to go to the Wendigo's lair alone. Mike initially comes across as being self-absorbed and somewhat vain and immature but over the events of the game he emerges as a brave and resourceful young man, putting his own life at risk numerous times to help his friends and trying to ensure the other's survival. Mike is a 19 years old young male with short dark brown hair, brown eyes and fair skin. When the story of the game begins, a year after the prologue, Mike wears a flannel jacket underneath a dark blue padded vest, a white tank top undershirt and a pair of jeans. After progressing through the game, Mike's appearance changed to that of his jeans, a white tank top undershirt and an olive green tattered army jacket. Also, his face will start to look rougher, covered with dirt and scars. Then, he will later receive a black eye and a big scar beside his mouth. Although appearing in 9 of 10 chapters, Mike is a playable character in 6 chapters and he also has 7 playable segments. This makes him the second most playable protagonist tied with Sam. Mike can find the most totems out of all the characters, with 10. He also can find half of the total danger totems. 
If we talk about clues, Mike can also find the most clues out of all characters, with a total of 24. Mike was class president in high school, and his dream job is to be a president of the United States. In 10 years, he sees himself working hard and playing hard. Mike's lowest threats are honest, charitable and curious, and his highest threats are romantic, funny and brave. His lowest relationship status is with Matt and Ashley, and his highest are with Emily and, obviously, Jessica. Mike is one of the two protagonists who could possibly kill another protagonist by intention, in this case Emily, when he find out she could turn into a Wendigo. He is one of the three characters that cannot die until the final chapter. If Mike is attacked by the Wendigo in the lodge, he isn't completely dead, as he may use his lighter to burn down the lodge. However, during the credits it is counted and shown as a dead scene. Samantha, known to her friends as Sam, is one of the eight main protagonists of Until Dawn. She was voiced and motion captured by the beautiful and talented Hayden Panettiere. As a nature-loving person, Sam takes a chance in this weekend to catch up with friends and enjoy the mountain's hair and put the past behind her. She is a caring individual but others might find her a little quirky, although she is comfortable in her own skin. She is also strong-willed and doesn't scare easily. Sam is described in game as diligent, considerate and adventurous. She seems to be the most level-headed and friendly member of the group and is rarely the cause of drama, even though she can be spunky and have somewhat of a strong personality. Her highest threats are honest, brave and charitable, while her lowest are funny, romantic and curious. Sam is a warm and caring person, so she cares deeply about people around her and their feelings, especially Hannah after the prank they pulled on her. She was described as not being afraid to be herself and not to be bothered by being made fun of. Sam loves and truly cares about animals and nature in general. Her dream job is to be a conservationist and according to Aiden Panettiere herself, Sam is a vegan. She is a pacifist with a disdain for violence and conflict and she shows remarkable calmness and decisiveness when under pressure, but will not shy away from fighting in order to save herself or her friend. In resume, she is brave and strong-willed and will not let fear take control of her and change her in any way. Sam is a 19 years old blonde with white skin and hair tied in a classic bun-like hairstyle. She has hazel eyes and often wears a dark shade of lipstick. During the whole trip, her nails are painted light blue as the base color, with small snowflakes on them. Before the bath, she wears a purple long-sleeved shirt, a black leather jacket wrapped, with a red thick scarf around her neck, grey boots, a fur hat and a red plaid skirt along with black tights. Later on the game, she is clad in only a white towel as the psycho had taken her clothes while she was bathing. Later, when found by Mike, she retrieves her backpack and changes into a white shirt, a red hooded jacket, grey yoga pants and sneakers. She keeps that outfit for the remainder of the game. Sam is voted most likely to become an activist and in 10 years she hopes to see herself making a difference in people. 
In total of 10 chapters, Sam appears in 8 of them and is a playable character in 6 chapters. She is also the first and last playable character of the game. According to Dr. Hill, she has a fear of the supernatural, and she is one of the three characters that can only be killed in the last chapter. She can also be the cause of the most death under all the main protagonists, as she is able to kill Mike, Ashley and Emily simultaneously when running to the switch to Hurley. If Sam is alive at the end of the game, she will always be the one to tell the police to go down into the mines, and she is the only protagonist that doesn't have a doll to represent her in the dollhouse during chapter 6. Thank you for watching all episodes of this Until Dawn character series. We hope you liked it as much as we do when creating it. Tell us if you want other specials about the sisters Anna and Beth or even the Wendigos in general. Thank you for watching, give us a thumbs up if you liked it and we see you on the next video. Bye bye.